Hello, it's Roger Bisbee here from the Skill Builder channel. Welcome back to another Know Your House. And in this one, I'm just gonna pick up on something, the comments that came in when I talked about radiators getting hot even when the heating was off. And people talked about their towel rails getting hot. We've got quite a few questions in from people saying, when my heating's off, my towel rail or my radiator in the bathroom still gets hot. Now, I'll just go through this and tell you exactly what's happening. So all this would be getting very familiar to anybody who's watched any of the other episodes in this series. And we're talking about the boiler here, we're talking about the cylinder there. We've got a flow coming out of the boiler. It's going to, in this case, a flow share valve. So what we've got is the water goes through the cylinder and then it's going back into the boiler. And we're picking up the returns here from the radiators as well and they're all joining up so this motorized valve depending on what's going on on a system can be directing water through the cylinder or it can be directing water down into the radiators or it can be doing both at the same time it's a very clever motorized valve what they call a flow share valve so anyway we've got that going on and then we think, hang on a minute, the towels are getting a bit manky in the summer, they're not drying out properly. Wouldn't it be lovely if we had ourselves a nice little towel rail in the bathroom? And that towel rail, we want to come on in the summer. It's no problem getting it to come on in the winter because we could just simply put ourselves a flow in here and a return going out to the radiator return, if you like, down there, and everything in the garden will be lovely. Except, of course, that when this motorized valve stops calling for heat in the house, that towel rail is gonna get cold. So, the way we get round that is we do away with this one, we don't do this at all. And what we do is we put our flow, now just imagine this is going around the back of a cylinder, but I don't want to complicate matters. So for now, I'm just going to take it over the top of the cylinder, round there, and I'm going to bring it down to here. Now, what I haven't put in here is a pump. We could have a pump in the boiler, but we could also have a pump actually on the system itself, which would be say there and that pump would be pushing the water sucking the water from the boiler if you like and pushing it out around the cylinder and around the radiators so if we want this to come on in the summer what we have to do with it is we have to make that connection between the pump and the motorized valve and if we do that, so it's coming in before the motorized valve, but it's coming in on the plus side of the pump. In other words, it's pushing. So we don't want to put it on that side of the pump because otherwise it would be sucking and basically it'd be trying to suck water around the system backwards. So it's important you see an arrow on the pump and then that's on the flow side. So you tee into that pipe there before the motorized valve and then you get a lovely summer operation. Obviously we'd need an air cock up here if we had a high spot there, just to show people, because we wouldn't want air being trapped in there. But as I'm saying, this is schematic, that would go around the back of the cylinder or under the floorboards, but it would arrive in the bathroom and it would give us summer operation of that towel rail. Now the return for the towel rail can run on the radiator circuit because it will pull that return in along those pipes. More likely you would be putting that return in somewhere down here. But where you wouldn't put that return in is on this cylinder return because anybody that remembers what I was talking about with reverse circulation, radiators getting hot in the summer. If you put that return on there, you have got the potential for the whole thing to drag around on this reverse circulation. So we definitely don't want to put our return on there. The last bit, as I said to you, all returns must be joined before the hot water joins the return. So in other words, the last connection on the 
return to the boiler has got to be the one from the cylinder. And if you do that, you won't get this situation where it could run down and work its way round, or in this case, round there. So that's important. Just remember that has to join twin into the radiator returns. It won't cause the radiators to heat up and that gives you summer only operation. Now, a lot of people desire that and that's great. That's the way it's designed. If you don't want it, if, you, if you're wired up that way, if it's plumbed up that way and you don't want it, then there will be a little valve on the end of the radiator, on that towel rail rather. There will be a little valve on there and hopefully it's the thermostatic valve so you can turn it right down in the summer and then it won't even come on. But a lot of people like that, I like that, and I usually put it in if I can. The only problem is when you haven't got this lot, when you haven't got a cylinder and all you've got is a boiler, which is a combi boiler, and that is with everything, all the hot water and everything inside it, there is no real potential for running a cylinder unless you wired up all the central heating so that the central heating came on but you had all this lot zone valved and you just had that one radiator working off your combi boiler it would be complicated quite honestly it'd be complicated and the boiler wouldn't be having any work to do so it would switch on switch off and it wouldn't be a very economical or good way of doing it but thankfully modern technology comes to the rescue there is another way of doing it. Here's your towel rail and you've got a pipe going into it. Let's put the pipe at the bottom because this helps the cause and let's put the return at the bottom because that also helps the cause. So what you can do is you can get a tapping for the bottom there which allows you to go into that towel rail before that valve and that will allow that valve to come out there and then into here you put an immersion heater. It's a rod that goes in there so it's inside the towel rail itself and it's got a little bit of screw head there. It's got a cable that goes off and it's a very low power consumption you've got on it. What I would say if you do that outside the bathroom in a safe zone put yourself a little time switch and have that coming on for an hour or so in the morning, an hour or so at night, that kind of thing, and that'll be enough just to dry those towels out and it won't cost you very much money at all. So that's the way to get round it if you have a combi boiler, but you can also do that if you've got this conventional system as well. You can still get yourself a little immersion heater, go to a plumber's merchants or screw fix or any of those kind of people, and they'll all have one of those for sale which you can put in. But as I say, when you wire it up, do it safely because uh, bathrooms are a particularly problematic place for electrics. I wonder if you know why.